I'm Janine Herbst with these headlines. A memorial service in Sydney, Australia today honored those killed during this year's wildfire season in New South Wales, including three American firefighters. The fire started raging in September and torrential rains helped bring them under control earlier this month. In Berlin, Germany, rent is being frozen at one and a half million apartments for five years, starting today. Most Berliners don't own their own homes or apartments. This law is aimed at controlling soaring rent prices, but critics say it's a socialist move. And a British court starts hearings tomorrow on whether to extradite WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to the U.S. He's wanted on 18 criminal accounts, including hacking government computers. I'm Janine Herbst, NPR News in Washington. Karina and her husband say they fled gang death threats in El Salvador in 2018. We're using just her first name because she's still concerned for her safety. She was processed at the San Ysidro Port of Entry last August when she was already three months pregnant. Karina was sent back to Mexico to wait for her court date in San Diego. But when she arrived at the Port of Entry for her January appointment, she says Customs and Border Protection agents turned her away. She says she was eight months pregnant at the time. Karina isn't alone. In recent weeks, at least four other women say the same thing happened to them. Some say they were given new court dates for the month after they would give birth. Others say their cases were closed after they weren't allowed into the U.S. for their court date. Sandra, another asylum seeker, says she felt bad that she wasn't allowed to see the judge. She was seven months pregnant when she was barred from entering the U.S. for a hearing in January. Sandra said that her case was then closed by the immigration judge because she wasn't at her court hearing. Maya Ibars is an attorney with Al Otro Lado, which provides legal assistance to asylum seekers. She says this is typical of the problems with Remain in Mexico, which is also known as the Migrant Protection Protocols, or MPP. She says the U.S. is delaying the pregnant women's court dates to prevent them from giving birth to U.S. citizens. The MPP guidelines clearly state that pregnant women are not supposed to be at MPP. So the fact that CBP is not only putting them in MPP, but prohibiting them from accessing their court dates is just ridiculous and ludicrous and infuriating. CBP says pregnant women are not excluded from MPP, but are instead placed in it on a case-by-case basis. CBP and the Department of Homeland Security did not respond to requests for comment about the new court dates for pregnant women. Advocates say that conditions in Mexican hospitals for migrants are dire and unsanitary. Karina, with legal assistance from El Otro Lado, got into the United States to continue her asylum case. She's due to give birth next week. For NPR News, I'm Max Nadler in Tijuana.